Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Far Cry Primal. Boop, boop. There we go. Big noise. As we went to the last episode, we chugged some goo, and now uh, we're here. We're gonna learn how to defeat these things. So I know nothing about that. But this is cool. I'm like so drawn into the story. I'm legitimately curious. It's so cool. Fire <laughs> There's the meteors. These are cool. I really like these missions. I still think I would really like to see a story where... Hey, why don't I just do this? Oh my god. Loading the bow up with three. Yeah, I would love to see... Um... Oh, that's... Magic with cavemen. Because, like, there are magical realism stories where it's like, what if magic existed in the 1930s? And then there's also, um... J.K. Rowling's Wizarding World of Harry Potter, please let me coast on my success. Please ignore the fact that I'm a... transphobe. Oh, man, that's cool. Or, uh, there's things like Eberron where it's magical realism and like what would the world be like if it, if D and D actually had like if the Forgotten Realms also had the industrial age, you know? Like what if the agricultural and industrial revolutions both happened? In an otherwise really standard place like the Forgotten Realms. But I would love to see magical realism with, like, how would the world be affected if, anthropologically speaking, magic had always existed, you know? It's something that I do don't feel that um, a lot of D&D &D settings answer adequately. Break the moon, hell yeah! <laughs> Oh wow, it even fills up on the side. That's really cool. Oh man! Oh wow! This is so dope. Like, the thing about Far Cry 3 is that almost nothing couldn't have happened, you know? Like, there's a few things, like, hey, if if that didn't happen, how come boss is dead, you know? Actually, I don't even want to distract from this. This is just so dope. Again, this is a completely different idea of, like, I'm going to go be their destructor. I'm going to be their death god. But instead of being this huge, brutish, unstoppable, like, melee force, you are, like, calm, despite the fact that you're on fire. 
all you do is bring fire, which is a tool that they've tried to master, but they're still in awe of your mastery of it. They're scared of your use of it. And, like, even for all they wear and all they do, they're still not completely immune to fire, whereas the... What is the name of it? I forgot it already. But this, like, demon god is is properly immune to fire. Like, do the people who didn't like Far Cry Primal get this far? <laughs> so, they worship the moon. That's interesting. And, like, fire is like, this is the hated thing, but we use it. We have to use it. It's the only way. That's how we'll make our niche, you know? Like, stark opposition to the Udam, who are like, we are cold, but we'll do anything to survive. It's like, we are surviving, but we need to take the... We need to take the enemy's fire. You getting high in your own supply there, dog? Shancha, Sushalai, Spachan. Nay. Shancha, Urusit. Shancha, Salwas. Salwa, ya Sushalai, Twayad. Again, putting antlers on something to make it look pagan. Krati, that's what it is. Krati. Krati. Mash. A soup near Pacha. A kiss. A kiss. Oh. Awesome. Yeah, so there's stuff in Far Cry 3 where, like, you go into this psychedelic... You go into a psychedelic dream like that. And it's, you know, never clear what happens because of the nature of a psychedelic, like, super dream. But afterwards, people are dead. Puffy. <laughs> Am I going to have to go kill the guys pooping in it? This is this my friend, right? Ear lady? Yeah. God, she remembers them all. Do you have PTSD? I have yellow leaves. Udam Dijams Udi Shawsi Shwada Nasam But in Far Cry 3, there were things with, um... Every major boss was defeated with, like, this psychedelic dreamscape. And it was just kind of annoying. Because, like, you never get a real, like, kill for them. You just get the, the psychedelic one. 
And like, it's cool and stylized. But afterwards, you see that whoever you killed in the dream is dead. And in some cases, like, after killing, um, what's his name? It's the final boss. There's like 30 dead guys. They're like stacked up to the ceiling in some places. I mean, not literally. There's a shitload of them, but. And it's like, what actually happened? And similarly in Far Cry 3, you have a psychedelic dream wherein you find out that you have to go find this knife and you find out where it is. And the thing is, it's one of those things where you have no way of possibly knowing about it. And similarly here, like, we wouldn't really have a way to tell that the Udom come from the north without that psychedelic dream vision. We wouldn't know about Karate without, you know, the psychedelic dream vision. It's this whole thing of like, okay, it's all totally mundane, but how did we find that out? Like, the only actual answer is magic, you know? And, like, what the shaman is doing is magical. It must be, because it's the only way to answer that. Sorry. They're not endangered. Wait, they just give meat? Ah, I don't know. Apologies, tortles. Dead fish all the way, huh? I like it, because magic is used a lot of ways. Because sometimes you have literal magic. Where it's like magic is a thing that exists in the world and, you know, everyone knows about it. But then you have narrative magic. Oh, there's a... That'll do it. Oh, gross. Oh, so this isn't even it. But these guys also had the bad... The poo-poo water. They drank the pee-pee part. Yep. Now he vomited. So yeah, he also drank it. Oh, this paint was poisoning everything. I knew we shouldn't have put lead in our paints. Actually, there is some kind of blue that will really, uh, that is really toxic. I forget what it is. Anyway, sorry, I'm getting off topic. There's regular magic, which is like, you cast a spell and something happens, you know? And then there's narrative magic, where the writer says something has to happen. Whoops. The writer says something has to happen, and then it does. You know, just poorly handled, it's pathetic, it's lame, etc., etc. And I really like this because it's kind of a blend of both. It's both narrative magic. But it's also literal magic. That is a fucking dead guy. Ugh. See, they've been drinking... Kuru, essentially. They've been drinking the maggots. 
That can't be good. But yeah, like, there's no reason why Far Cry can't have magic. But the thing is, no one ever thought that it would. And so them having magic is just kind of a surprise, and I think that that's really cool. Need more hides, huh? Come on, get him. Chase him down. Thank you, Dorg. Perfect. kind of went on him. Alright, let's find our next objective. And we're going to need that. And now... Let's head there. Yeah, let's do this. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is my favorite Far Cry. Like, despite all the fandom I had for it, I actually had not played it until now and like oh it's so worth it i kept putting off playing it <laughs> i don't know if i have one of these yet wear black jagger Nice. All right, cool. Now all I need is the rare dole, the rare wolf, and then the badger and the leopard. I haven't even seen a leopard in a while, but I do have to kill leopards. Now, if they're already dead, will anyone be upset? Nice, neat. I love how they're my prey. Like, I'm using my hunter vision to track my prey, even though I'm not hunting them. my club. Is the two-handed one just less durable? Oh shit. Get back me. Get past me. Far inside, into a cave? Those are often bad news, Mon Frere. Hmm. 
Tall elk. Have to hunt for them. Fuck, I just gotta hunt for bite fish. I've never even seen a bite fish. And I need badger pelts. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. At least these are upgraded. Like, when I get this leg, it's just going to be upgraded. What cave am I searching again? Oh, I've gotten distracted now. Oh, it's below me. Okay. Well, I can grab this and be on my way then, right? Back to saving your wife, of course. <laughs> yep, alright. I see how it is. And I get to the cave to find the mask. Pardon me. Don't worry, you're safe. Wonderful. I'm glad that went well. Certainly did go well. All right. I forget what I was getting. Uh, yep. Let's see here. Skills. It was down here, right? Yeah, it was. Because what I really want is that. That's of big importance. Oh, hey, we got the stash, too. Do you have any badger skins for me, you sycophants? I would love it if every perk you got, Estacar, also translated into a perk that like the village would get. I love stuff like that. I love like cool auxiliary perks. What did I miss? Oh. I guess that's right. Good boy. All right, now we're going to head in. Oh, never even got this. Yeah, we're going to grab this, and then from here, we're going to look for bite fish. You weren't doing anything important, right? Oh, your friend. Sorry, my good man. All right, I take it that you dealt with it. Is that a chicken? Yes, yes, yes. 
Yes! Finally! <laughs> the second feather. Look at that. Oh, now I only need rare feathers. I don't even know where I got the regular feather. Rare Black Jaguar. Probably should have tamed that, huh? Yep. Or no, I have one. I'm only missing the regular leopard. Oh, there's a snake. Give me your delicious snake meat. Sounds like another Jagger over here. Damn it. No! Oh, that was one of mine, huh? really unfortunate. That's a big punishment for um, accidentally killing a guy. Though not for on purpose killing a guy. Now if you do it on purpose then I would say that's a pretty you know, apt thing to happen to you. That's a bite fish? Jesus Christ of Nazareth, those things are big. Couldn't fish that thing up with a... With a boat. Oh, God. Alright. Next, we need... Oh, my God, that's four? Never mind. Oh, it's not as though it's going to be any cheaper. Got some crocodiles. That reminds me. Now I can make a lot more of these, right? Yeah, I get more bang for my buck, and also, I can hold way more. That's a good upgrade. I feel good about it. Do I get croc skin for that? Alright. Let's park myself in one of these bushes. And then do a little call. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, alright. I like what I'm seeing, but I feel like there should be more. Yep, there's, yep.
really love just like marking targets. That feels really good, you know? Oh, hey! You're gonna need some food stat, buddy. There you go. A little more for you. Nice and easy. A lot of people actually ask me why I don't bother streaming these, because I can take a break whenever I want to. Ooh, no alarm striker. Shit, yeah. I like having the spear on screen just because it takes up less space. Alright, let's see here. Slate. Boo. Reads. Hmm. Perfect. <laughs> oh, goodness, pardon me. All right, now we got to find the next thing. It's more bite fish. That's what the issue is. Dude, any game that gives me a stinger, I instantly, like, get a little respect for. And, like, this game gives you the stinger. And that's awesome. Also, lets you do actual spear gameplay. Like, I can't... I can't think of the time that I've seen spear gameplay in a while. Because, uh, Elder Scrolls actually cut spears from the weapon list. They used to have spears, and then they cut them out. Um, I know they're not in Skyrim. I don't remember if they're in Oblivion. I Oblivion is the one that I know the least about, all things considered. Well, maybe Arena. I actually know a decent amount about Daggerfall. Been meaning to play Daggerfall, and just because of the way that the uploads work, I might have already played Daggerfall. But yeah, it was a big deal because, like, uh, in Skywind, uh, the mod for Skyrim that puts uh, Morrowind back in. Well, you know, back in, but puts Morrowind in the game. Oh, bite fish. I hope that was enough. It was not enough. Wow, this is deep down there, huh? There you go. All right. Let's... Oh, fireproofing is back. Let's hit this magic crunch wrap. Where is it? Where's the money, Lebowski? Oh god, bite fish. I really love that they're called bite fish. Makes me wonder what, um, piranha actually means.
Alright, get your knife out, kill it. Come on, make it easy for me. Yes. Now I can skin him. Come on. Just gotta in there we go. Perfect. And reeds. Alright. I needed bite fish skin for something. Tall elk. Holy rhino. Ooh. Cave bear and deer skin. Okay. Double bow, wow. All right, let's take a look at what I need for the village. Badger skin. Oh, if I get alder wood, I'm good. And cave bears. So, cave bear skin and alder wood. Good boy. Man, this, this saber tooth tiger is worth its weight in something worthwhile. Hold more, I forgot. Oh man. Dude, this game feels so good. It feels good to play. You can feel it. You become monkey. Like you know all those fucking reviews that were like Batman Arkham City is the game that makes you feel like Batman. It's like, we get it. We, we're aware. Because there was, like, honestly, like, 50 fucking reviews that all said that. What you guys got to say? Mother oh, dear... Right, cool. Again, I really do love the feel of upgrading your pack with the skins of animals you find. It arguably fits better here, because, like, yeah, shit like that just did not exist. Thank you, animal. You all know what the best part about having... Gandalf with me. Delegation. The fact that I can say, hey, do this for me. I can point and I can say, hey, go kill that guy. And that's a valid way to play and the game lets me do that. That feels good. Do I have the bow? Bow. Let's try the more long bow action. your munch on. Oh, man. I only ended up uploading uh, one episode of Oh, uh, whatever. One episode of ASMR playthroughs of uh, Far Cry 3, but I could probably do a lot of these. Just 
riding around being friends with animals. Being the beast master. And like, I feel like night and day matter way more in this game. I'm really glad that like, my tiger's roar actually fucking matters. Like, the tiger roars and things start running away, and that's awesome. That's super cool, and that's <clears throat> super useful. Pardon. Time for my present. Okay, let's see what I'm ready to pull the trigger on. That... And I can... I just need a cave bear. That's incredibly useful. Almost did not make it. Whoops! Please go over the edge. Thank you, Jakar. Such a beautiful call as well. Can't be it. There's like three guys here. What about on the other side? Should have sent the beast first. Heavy, huh? Then we're gonna look for a cave bear. I assume so, right? Yeah. Yeah, all those use different things, so that means that I can safely... Oh boy. I can safely do that. Let's grab that Dacia hand. Nice. Hey, hey. I will burn this mother down. If you're not careful. And if I'm not careful, I will have already set fire to the whole fo Oh, there it goes. Oh, don't fuck with me. Back, you savages. You animals. Man. 
man. Killing a lion does not have the same, like, impact it once did. Which is not necessarily a bad thing. It's like, it's I've just gotten so strong, you know? Like, before, I definitely would have been just, like, shitting my pants with, like, oh, fuck, it's a fucking lion, you know? But now, well, that ain't no deal. So where's the station? Here? Brown bear. It's below me. Okay. really uh, all done for me again delegation that's what I'm talking about you need some meat my good boy oh, she. Oh, here we go this will be it 82 nice I want him to do the, like, just put out fire animation, but, like, there's no way of knowing what he'll do. Nice. Wow. The, that is a stark difference. Uh-oh. Okay. Okay. That really makes your health go down precipitously, huh? So, uh, where do I go from here then, huh? Let's see if we can grab that mask. And also maybe grab a woolly rhino or two. God, that massive glacier. So cool. Yeah, that's a woolly rhino. Oh, God. I love how a lot of animals in the, uh... Oh, Jesus, please, get him off my back. Thank you. God, if... I love a lot of animals in, um... 
like the Mesozoic era. The only thing with them was that like they were woolly or tusked. Like walruses, woolly mammoths, they're just fuzzy and tusky, you know? And saber tooth tigers, like, we already had tigers. Those guys aren't tusked. But you know what? Saber tooth tigers are. You know, if you want to make something look ice age, you just put tusks on it. I talked about um, Scrat, the saber tooth squirrel from, you know, the movie Ice Age, the film. No! I'm sorry, there was nothing I could do. Well, there was some, but there was very little I could do. Anyway, I'm gonna go kill a bear. Yaks. Cave bear, there we go. Let's grab that. And then from there, we will head south. <sighs> nice. Good deal. Who's a good boy? I was gonna make a joke about um, how there should be like a gritty, edgy reboot of The Simpsons. Sorry, no, The Flintstones. And then I realized that not only is there that already, but I've also already made a joke about that. I've even talked about the actual reboot of The Flintstones that's all edgy. We gotta find this uh, stone shrine, which is below me here. I mean, it's probably in here, right? That would make the most sense, huh? Station hand. Yes, it's perfect. Beautiful shot. And I'm thinking the rest of the episode is probably just going to be me, like, checking up on everyone, getting all their dialogue and stuff. Well, that would be the cave bear then, wouldn't it? Do I have... I do have a cave bear. <gasps> oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. played Far Cry 4. I might like it, considering that it's the, like, midpoint between these two games. I mean, the two games that I played in the Far Cry series. Nice. 
Man, that, like, no fall damage thing, dividends. Look at the rocks here. This is goddamn beautiful. Again, like, moss growing on... I, I mean, not again, but, like... A little visual cue of moss growing on the top of things. Oh, shit. To let you know where you can and can't walk. That's very useful. Where am I? Feel it, big boy. I bought this skill, I may as well goddamn use it. <laughs> His movement speed is pretty good. Oh man, it's so fast, I had to stop to load. That's kind of funny. Oh, wait, you're a Wenja, aren't you? Master Yakabush, why the Dutch eye? Yeah, ooh, Master Wakabush to you too, dude. 83, nice. And then he's gonna get killed by a mountain lion, because I saw something red coming in there. Thing looks new. Oh, it's just a similar saber tooth tiger, but it's got snow on it. Doy. Sorry, Gandalf. And this way, I can't even call the old one back. Though I guess it's good because we avoided a fight. Oh, it does take away my call. That's useful. This game is so good, dude. <laughs> nice. Oh. You can see the things floating again. Now, if my last time playing this game was any indication, talking about something silly like that, usually a good sign I'm going to get attacked pretty hard. Is that the hand? Oh my god, I missed it. Just looking at it from the wrong angle, I guess. Alright, now we're going to head back on home. You know, this is probably a good place for the episode to stop anyway. So, I've been Alfred, everyone. This has been Far Cry Primal. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for coming by. Have a good day.